Hello, welcome to... Well, this isn't part of the playthrough, but I wanted to show off. So, I get near the end game, and I have like 2,500 light souls, money, whatever you want to call it. And I realized, if I want to max out everything, I kind of need more than that. So, I looked online, and a lot of the spots have you hunting down an area clearing out an area, hunting down a specific enemy. But they're all from the, when the game released, and they have gone through it at the time of playing this, which is July 20th, 2020. With many patches, they have fixed all those spots. Every single one. Like, there was one, like, killing the the forearm, like, these guys, the, the, the Gwork. I think is what they're called, or whatever they're called, like the evil ones. They're supposed they were dropping like fifteen hundred. No, they drop like twenty, maybe forty, and that's it. Um, but I did find a spot. So the things you're going to need are, and this is late game, so you do have to keep that in mind. But the things you're going to need are, come on. You need Light Harvest, maxed out, so you drop Forks and Spirit Orbs. You need Turmoil, so enemies respawn faster. Hey! And you need Bounty. Those are the three things you need. Definitely. Because, yes, they have more life, but they drop double the Spirit Light. And that's the important thing. After that, you can do whatever you want after that. It doesn't matter. But these are the three things. The next thing you need to do is get to the point where you've unlocked the... That's not Qualix Hollow. Don't give me that. Where you've unlocked the um, travel point in the Bower Woods. Not only unlocked this travel point, but unfrozen pretty much everything. So now that we're here, we're in Bower's Reach. We're gonna drop down and we're gonna head to this area right here in the north, um, to the west of it. It's really easy to get to. Like I said, you have to have... There we go. Yeah, I've got 20,000. You... Oh, I messed that up. Because it is up and to the left. There we go, and across here. So, here we are, and again, if we check the map, it is this area right here. And as you can see, I've unfrozen things. And now, keep in mind, I started with 2,500. And all you do is swim. Ideally, you dash when you want to, but you just swim. Look at that. They're killing themselves. It doesn't matter how much HP they have. They kill themselves. And I'm, I'm gonna make you do the math. But in four hours, just just doing that, swimming back and forth like that. So just doing this, sometimes dashing, sometimes doing giving just d giving a few hits. I went from, as you can see, 2,500 to 20. And about, we'll, we'll highball it. I think it was three hours, but we'll say four hours. So that's, that's, that's a lot. That is a lot of souls. And, and that is, that is your prime fire. And that's all you do. And I'll be honest, what I did was, I'm playing on my computer as one, and I do a dual screen setup, so on the one screen I was watching something on the anime or YouTubes or Netflix and what have you, and I was just swimming back and forth. And then, and it was spread out over day, so it was like I did an hour in the morning, an hour in the afternoon, an hour in the evening, maybe maybe two hours in the evening, but I'm pretty sure it was close to three, but like I said, we're highballing it. So I went from 2,500 to 20,000 in about four hours. So, on average, that's like, what, 4,000 an hour? That's, that's how you farm. And that is my tip to you. 
If you need to farm light, it is an endgame thing, but that is how you do it. Thank you very much for watching. Hello, this is Gohan the Chinchilla, and he hopes you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment, or even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparkytdk and watch us live every Monday through Friday. Thank you very much for your support.